change the width for a specific div. Um, in my example here, I'm actually I'm trying to build a site that looks like this, and this is what I have so far. And one big thing I notice is that this priority, this yellow priority area right here, uh, it's going across the entire, you know, the entire width here. Whereas I actually don't want it to go that far. I only want it to be small inside here. So, so how do I go about doing that? I will show you how. Let's go to Text Wrangler and let's see what we've got here. We already have some style applied to our priority um, div, the priority ID right here. Um, and so we just want to change the width of this. There's a number of different ways to do this. I'm going to use percentages um, and because I want my design to remain fluid. If you resize this, you see everything sort of flows. Um, the percentage uh, remains consistent. Uh, the percentage width remains consistent, but the number of pixels is actually relative to the size of the browser. And uh, that's a good example of some, some kind of nice responsive design that, uh, that you want to do because you never know the size of the browser that you use, your, your user is, is going to be using. Um, so, so let's stick with percentages for now. Let's actually go to Text Wrangler and let's just write the attribute width. And I'm going to start with just 75% and see what happens when I do that. Let's hit save. And let's go to our, our site in progress here. Let's hit reload. And what we're looking at is the width of this yellow section right here. So let's hit reload. There we go. Uh, it did change. It's, it's actually all aligned to the, the left. So we're going to have to figure out a way to center that. But that's OK. One problem at a time. Now let's actually resize the browser and see what happens. The browser window, there we go. We can see that just as we wanted, the width of that, that priority area changes to match sort of the follow the, the size. It's, it remains consistently at 75%. Okay. Um, and that's, that's really the behavior we wanted. So that's good. So now you know how to change the width for a specific div. I hope that that was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.